The yin and the yang of masterpieces. I see everyone talk about Freelin, the anime, but I would be a fool to think that it was the only masterpiece that released on its season. The Apothecary Diaries just finished and holy shit, I've wanted to talk about this just like Freelin since the very beginning, but I haven't really returned to anime reviewing till this season so yeah this is basically like was on its second half along with Freelin. so i just waited till both of them were over mao mao is absolutely the most overpowered character in history <laughs> yes what defines overpowered does power like mean pure strength does it mean intelligence you know intelligence can be power and yes mao mao is absolutely fucking overpowered when it comes to just how intelligent she is compared to everyone in the story she is carrying this kingdom by herself i swear this kingdom wouldn't even make it past like episode 7 without this character and yeah i hate to bring up like overpowered stuff but i just wanted to throw this out there but in terms of the anime yeah it's fucking it's a masterpiece the apothecary diaries is not your usual anime if i have to force a genre on it it might be like mystery and maybe romance but yeah mystery is probably the biggest factor of this anime and yeah you don't really see much of those on a seasonal basis you probably just see like 11 isekai animes that spam waifus to keep you watching and while there are some waifus in this anime one of them might be a man but yeah and what do you know you actually do learn stuff watching this anime both useful and useless i love the fact that it has a season 2 already confirmed on the final episode because let's be honest it deserves it like a lot of people are sleeping on this to be honest all the crowd are like surrounding freelan and not to take anything from freelan it's a masterpiece this has been like the yang of the yin however it is not like freelan when it comes to the cast or the anime no this does really rely on the story and the mysteries because when it comes to the cast it's mostly just mau mau that is utilized perfectly even though sometimes i feel like she knows much more than she probably should be <laughs> considering her age if there's one problem with this anime it's the fact that the kingdom is a lot of the time kind of useless and mau mau is the one that basically hard carries a lot of the stuff that happens in there that's like maybe my one issue with the anime everything else is perfect it's really damn good so yeah if you haven't watched it please go give it a watch this anime is really really worth it it's 24 episodes you you'll really enjoy it the final episode was absolutely fantastic it ended the anime perfectly and yep that's about it get the fuck out